Wombat Divine, written by Mem Fox. It was the week before Christmas. Wombat loved Christmas. He loved the carols and the candles, the presents and the pudding, but most of all, he loved the nativity play. For as long as he could remember, Wombat had wanted to be in the nativity. Now, at last, he was old enough to take part. So with his heart full of hope and his head full of dreams, he hurried along to the auditions. His friends were already there. Emu was bossing and fussing as usual. Now, let's get started. Who would like to be the Archangel Gabriel? Oh, I think I would, I would. But he was too heavy to be the Archangel Gabriel. Bilby was chosen instead. Never mind, Wombat. Don't lose heart. You can try for a different part. But he was too big to be Mary. Numbat was chosen instead. There, there, Wombat. Don't lose heart. Why not try for a different part? Right, now, who'd like to be one of the three kids? Me, I would. But he was too short to be a king. Kangaroos were chosen instead. Cheer up, Wombat. Don't lose heart. Why not try for a different part? Wombat tried everything. He wanted to be Joseph, but he was too sleepy. He wanted to be the innkeeper, but he was too clumsy. He wanted to be one of the shepherds, but he was too short-sighted. And then there were no parts left. Wombat hung his head and hoped he wouldn't cry. Suddenly, Bilby leapt into the air. I know, Wombat. You could be baby Jesus. Could I really? Of course you could, Wombat. Fancy me forgetting such an important part. A nativity without baby Jesus is no nativity at all. Wombat was dizzy with pride. Christmas Eve arrived at last. Everyone was nervous except Wombat. He lay quiet and still throughout the whole performance. He even fell asleep, just as a real baby would. On Christmas Day, when everyone was opening presents and eating, they all agreed it had been the best nativity ever. You are divine, Wombat. And Wombat beamed.